Hi! In this video, we will demonstrate how to enter manufactured items, bills of material, routings, and workstations. We will enter a product, wooden table, which is made of four legs, one tabletop, and half a liter of varnish. It takes two operations to make one table, assembling and painting. We start with defining our manufacturing resources. In MRP Easy, we call these workstations. Our workstations define our production capacity. The workstation could be a machine, a bench, an assembly table, etc. Similar workstations are organized into workstation groups. In our case, there is a woodworks workstation group with three assembly tables and a paint room workstation group with one room. We will go to the Production Planning section and Workstation Groups tab and define our two groups. We have a woodworks area with three stations, each with a default hourly manufacturing overhead rate of $150. And we have a paint room group with one station and an hourly manufacturing overhead rate of $120. If our painting room works 24 hours, 7 days a week, then we need to define custom working hours. Now, our workstation groups are created. In the Workstations tab, we can see our workstations. Later, here, we can add new workstations or remove them from our existing workstation groups. Let's see the details of a woodwork station. We can change the number, name, and type. The hourly manufacturing overhead rate can be different for each workstation in a group. The productivity parameter allows to define slower or faster workstations within a group. We can assign a worker or department or several that work at this workstation by default. This setting has priority over what is defined in a routing. We could also add idle time periods, for example, maintenance time, when no work can be planned for this particular workstation. Now we are ready to enter our product, its bill of materials and routing. We create a new item in the stock section. The part number field is automatically filled with a unique number. If you have your own part numbers, feel free to edit the field. We fill in all the details. After saving the item, we can add a bill of materials and a routing. Let's create the bill of materials and define what one table is made of. Four legs, one top, and half a liter of varnish. And now, let's add a routing. The goal of the routing is primarily to provide grounds for scheduling of the capacity of our workstations. Each line of the routing represents one production stage at one stop, a machine or a work area, with an estimated time that it takes at that stop. The assembly operation is performed at one of the workstations from the Woodworks workstation group. It takes 30 minutes to prepare for production, and then it takes 5 minutes per each table. The painting operation is performed at a paint room workstation, which takes 5 minutes per each table. Now, our product is properly defined. The bills of materials and routings can be much more complex. Let's assume that we produce bottled banana wine. The bill of materials for it consists of one bottle, one cap, and seven deciliters of banana wine. To produce a batch of 100 liters of banana wine, we use 80 bottles of Pandorian dry white wine and 45 liters of banana tincture which we also produce ourselves. The bill of materials for banana tincture includes 10 kilograms of bananas and 40 liters of ethanol. Here, we have a so-called multi-level bill of materials. Each subassembly has to have a stock item of its own. The tincture is a subassembly, which has a balm and routing. The same logic applies to the banana wine. You can have as many levels as you wish for a multi-level balm. If you are making a manufacturing order for the top level 
and any of the lower-level assemblies are not in stock, then the manufacturing operations for the sublevel components will be nested under the same manufacturing order. If you do not want to nest them in the same manufacturing order, you should create a separate manufacturing order for these beforehand. The routings can also be more complicated. Let's look inside the banana tincture routing. The operation of mixing and aging is done in a 100 liter capacity mixing tank, so it can process up to 100 liters of tincture per cycle. In this case, we use the detailed view of routing and key in 100 in quantity field, which by default is one. This means that cycle time is the same for any quantity below 100 liters. A quantity above 100 and below 200 liters takes two cycles, and so on. If your manufacturing processes overlap on some operations, or use some special operation sequencing in a single routing, then you can switch on the Overlap and Special Sequences functionality. If you use several workstations from the same group at the same time, then it is possible to define it using the Parallel Execution of Production Operations functionality. If some workers' wages are based on piece payment per product, or you simply need to disable hourly labor cost calculation, you can use the piece payment functionality. If some of the manufacturing operations are done by subcontractors, you can switch on the subcontracting functionality. To learn more about these additional functionalities, please see their dedicated videos. In this video, we demonstrated how to set up manufactured items, bills of materials, workstations, and routings. Thank you for watching. To learn more about the functionality of MRP Easy, please see our other videos.